2003 Open Pace Championship Final and they're off. And Art Major with four star Shark Mini Me is up into the thick of it early from the extreme outside. King Tutpan Cayman is going to follow up in fourth. Royal Majesty is seat from fifth. Mick Dillon, the six one away. McCardle has left tardily. Second to last back there in seventh with just one beat in Corona Grande. Mini Me is up on the outside challenging for the top against Art Major. Four star Shark back in third at the inside. Mini Me and Dave Miller. An unbelievable 25 and 1, and Mini Me, the supplemental entry, has crossed over to make the lead. Art Major took him a long way, sits there second as they straighten up towards the half. Art Major and John Campbell already tipped back out for the retake on the way to the half over Mini Me. Four Star Shark is back in there from third. King Tutpan came in his fourth. Royal Majesty stayed in from fifth. There goes McCardle starting on the outside. Corona Grande and McDillon, the trailers, half a mile, 54 and one. Uh, that was 29 seconds in the second quarter. Art Major is on top. Mini Me back in second and McCardle is moving it first over into the second half of the Breeders' Crown Final. Three-eighths of the mile to go and going with McCardle is Corona Grande. Second over into the top four. Four star Shark hemmed to the inside in fifth. McDillon sixth outside. Then King Tutpan came in and Royal Majesty eighth on the outside. It's Art Major at the head of the stretch. One, twenty-two and three. Twenty-eight and two in the third they turn for home in the 2003 Breeders Crown Final Art Major McCardle has dogged him a long way and is right there Art Major Campbell begins to ask McCardle on the outside is Corona Grande Art Major to the bottom of the well McCardle just couldn't reach him Art Major another major masterpiece to repeat as Breeders Crown Champion over McCardle and a block four star shark Art Major 149 and 4 in the uh, winner's circle John Campbell shaking more hands maybe than the President of the United States of America John uh, a popular winner here tonight in Art Major and it's going to be sad to see him uh, leave harness racing the question is when is he going to leave harness racing I don't know when uh, that, that decision will be made but uh, I'm like you I'm sure going to miss him he's uh, you know just a great horse he's been a phenomenal ride here for two years and he's He's just uh, dead game. I mean, he, uh, you know, he just fights horses off. Trip worked out uh, the way it has the last couple of weeks, but talk about the top of the stretch, uh, an added element to the race tonight, a much different McCardle. Yeah, uh, Mike elected not to leave, and, uh, you know, he, he came, came at me hard around last turn and into the stretch. But as I said, uh, Art Major's just uh, tremendously game. He, he digs, in, <coughs> digs in and fights horses off. Were you confident like you have been the last couple of weeks with him at that point? Yeah, he felt good going to the half. I mean, you never know until you get down to that wire, you know, how much pace there is behind you and, uh, you know, if things aren't going to go well. But, you know, he felt good going to the half, and I, I thought he would race well at that point. But uh, I wasn't guaranteeing victory then, though. You're on the win for Art Major tonight, in your opinion. Does it seal the deal for him being horse of the year? I think it's too early to talk about that. I certainly think he's the front runner by mm -hmm. quite a bit right, not right now. I mean, there's no question about that. We've got a lot of racing left to do here from now till uh, Breeders' Crown time at uh, the Meadowlands. We've got one more Breeders' Crown mount coming up. Good luck with Victory Cruise in the Open Try. Thanks a lot, Ken. Appreciate it. John Campbell wins the Breeders' Crown Older Horse Pace event with the great Art Major. Our thanks to Ken Middleton and driver John Campbell down in the Woodbine infield winner's circle to weigh over $3.3 million. Making the Breeders' Crown Trophy presentation is Dr. J. Glenn Brown, director of the Hamiltonian Society, operator of the prestigious World Championship Breeders' Crown Series, which we are so pleased to have hosted in Canada so often over the past two great decades of the Breeders' Crown World Championships. Also assisting with the Winner's Circle of Festivities is Mr. H. Barry Hewson, Director of Racing for the Standard Bread Division at Woodbine and Mohawk for the Woodbine Entertainment Group. Thanks to Dr. J. Glenn Brown and Barry Hewson for the Winner's Circle presentations to Breeders' Crown Champion Art Major.